With the omonurexa support, the humerus head is more securely positioned in the socket for improved alignment. This enhances patient security and support. We have the elbow in extension and the forearm in medium supination. This also prevents excessive proximal leverage movement in the shoulder joint. In subluxation, we can see the enlarged joint gap here and how the scapula is sagging ventrally. Scapular adduction is lacking, muscular atrophy with the flexion of the thoracic spine are evident. The trapezius is clearly hypertonic and the shoulder is lower than on the unaffected side. In therapy, we first try to mobilize the scapula, improving how it glides on the thorax and then working on shoulder mobility in order to obtain free joint movement. We ensure that the joint gap subsequently appears normal and the humerus head follows along with good support in the socket. Since the subluxated shoulder can actually be moved freely, we should avoid extension to the full range of motion without supporting the scapula, otherwise we create pain and cause an impingement syndrome. We try to mobilize exterior rotation, since initial tonus is on the pectoral muscle. Mobility for interior rotation and abduction is normally not restricted. For this patient, I would recommend the omonurexa because the joint gap is minimized, centering of the humerus is improved, the scapula is held in adduction more securely and extension of the thoracic spine is improved.